So I decided to make a set of uh, steampunk wings. So I'm going to make a little video on uh, my process of uh, how I went about uh, making them, um, reason it came out this size and everything, and how it works and all. Anyway, um, like I said, this is a set of steampunk wings that I just decided to do. I thought it'd be a fun project. Um, this is it collapsed. Um, it fits on my shoulders with shoulder straps. The reason it's this size is uh, I'm kind of a big person and uh, I didn't want it to extend past my shoulders when it was folded like it's shown right now. Uh, and I also, uh, being that I'm not young, I wanted to be able to sit down with it on. So it uh, comes down to my lower back right about my pants level. So I can easily sit down in a chair or sit down on a stool or anything uh, comfortably with this on, not have to take it off or sitting down. So I'm going to do a quick view on what's going on here. Uh, there's two pivot points. There's one pivot point. Here's the other one. One side and the other. They open. Well, right now it's got air on it. Um, <clears throat> The air system that operates it is made by Robart, uh, same company that I get my equipment for my model airplane landing gear, uh, opens and closes uh, pneumatically. So what I've got is two Robart air tanks, large air tanks, combined together, goes to the air valve, and then one position the valve is open, the other is closed. And then you also have the fill valve which fills the air tanks. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and show what it's like to put some air in it. So let me charge it up. Okay, um, operates up to 110 pounds. Right now I've got 100 pounds on it, so that's a good start. And I'm gonna undo the, the valve, very similar to filling up, say, a bicycle tire. And so now the operation is when I move this valve, which I have a lever that clips onto my belt, um, the cylinders will press the other direction open these wings and I just hope it doesn't uh, fling itself off the table here and there we go here's open it's closed open that's open and closed Okay, so that's that's how this system works. And with these two cylinders here, with these two cylinders, I can get uh, 20 good cycles. Um, it's about, I can get up to 25. By that time, it starts getting a little sluggish because you're down to around, say, between 80 and 60 pounds. It starts getting a little slow. But at 100 pounds, up to 110, uh, cycles really well so smooth when you're wearing it you have to look to uh, to see if it even opened up so um, this arm here is simply to give it shape when open that's this one so these two swing here and it has its shape when it's when it's deployed and then when it's collapsed. So now, how did I come up with this? You can see the way the uh, arms come in nice and tight here. And like I say, I needed it to be within my shoulder, so that works out really well. I'm not running around bumping into everything. All of this stays uh, well within my shoulders. 
So this is what I did. I took a piece of scrap plywood that I had laying around and I drilled a series of holes one inch apart. Then I took some other pieces and started drilling holes. And um, I did a lot of looking at uh, other YouTube videos such as the Crooked Feather um, and come up with an idea of what I wanted to do and the action that I wanted. So the reason for all these holes is so I can adjust um, and make changes from you know how do I want it to operate so just for example this is it set up right here just swing and see this one the way I had this is a mock-up and I had extra wood on here now this would open up around 13 feet which was good the only problem was um, it would not allow me to sit down it hung way too low and I'm like well it would be you know really neat to see that open but um, I'm getting you know like I say I'm not young so walking around all day I've got to I've got to be able to sit down I didn't want to take it off all the time so that's when I made a decision that this was going to be the size I'm going to go with it opens up uh, just under eight feet is when it's fully open and closed like I say it's uh, within my shoulder shoulder length it's under under 30 inches so this is how I did it um, this is just tomato steaks just just uh, plain wood that you get from uh, um, Home Depot Lowe's anything it's even I still got the points where you're driving the ground for you know stake up your tomatoes or whatever and just screws that I can use my you know screwdriver or drill and easily put in back out and, and move them all up and down and I did that until I got a very smooth operation and then made my how you know what distance I wanted everything to work so by using this method because some of the larger wings they start out here they start already open like that now the only problem is if I was wearing that at some of these uh, comic cons I would be having to walk sideways everywhere or just literally not walk at all just kind of stand around which is, is not my game really I like to walk around and look what uh, people have built and um, but some of them you can have it out like this and have a really large wing and the same thing the only problem is these wings are very light fabric so these cylinders they're 5 8 diameter and in 100 pounds, they push almost 30 pounds of pressure. Uh, and they open very smooth. Like I said, I really, uh, I can't even hear it. When I slipped this lever, I, I, I found myself uh, turning my head to see if it even opened. Uh, it's so smooth. Um, but all that's because I've got the action down here, playing with this mock-up, and then putting that here, match drilling everything, so they operate the same. Uh, again, I got these from Robart. Uh, which they, they have very easy to use and all you do is fill it up with a with a, um, a pump um, they, they you get this special fitting with it that fills it and whatever good compressor that you want uh, a hand pump is kind of difficult to get a hundred pounds on it but uh, you could use a hand pump but anyway um, this is what I did um, just figured I'd do a little video show how I came up with this. Like I say, this was just very cheap wood. It could be operated by pulling strings. It very easily could. Um, I wanted to go with something more uh, ooh and ah by having a little lever off my off my uh, belt there and just flip that and watch them open uh, as opposed to pulling a string. Um, but to build the structure the fabric, I uh, already had the wood, but to, to get this nicer wood, um, all the hardware, the fabric, now not including the pneumatics, not including the pneumatics, it was probably less than $40 for the wings. Uh, but then adding the pneumatics was probably uh, about an additional 120. But like I say, I used the same systems on my model airplanes where in the air I have servos that push and close and I have wheels that come up and down and 
and uh, it, for me it works very smooth you're done buying when you put this on it's everything you need all you got to do is charge it when it goes low um, and it works anyway make a little video on uh, how I did this and uh, hope you enjoy